She came up again. She came up again. No, she came up once. She'd already told me that. I talked to you yesterday. It wasn't yesterday she came up. So they're not gonna have a funeral, huh? Huh. Yeah, I pray. It probably doesn't really matter. She was, you know, totally gone for a long time. But I know you loved her, and, you know, I'm sorry. I was going to ask at the end of a funeral, because you would probably be, you'd be in there maybe when they were having it. Sorry it happened, but you know, she's been, she's in her 70s and she's been totally out of it for so long anyway. Although, you never told me, I didn't even know she had any health problems besides mental. <laughs> How? Okay, but she's been living there a long time. How? She had beds. She had bed sores. Oh, I, th I thought they they take care of them in there. Well, his was different. His was he wasn't in there very long, and it was a wrongful death thing. Yeah, I know. And the fall eventually led to his death. Yeah. So, you, anyway, so they're not going to, that's what I wanted to know. I wanted to say, you know, I was so sorry about that, but, you know, it's, it's, it's a different situation, you know. Um, so you liked everything I sent to you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep, so now you, 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 you have the lyrics. So if the song plays, you know. Did you? Some of them you thought you don't know the tune to. Oh, did you, did you sing for your uh, fellow patients or your... Oh, good. Good, Mama. I know that would make you happy. You like the pictures? Good. Now, I know you can't read the card. Um, did you have... Did you have somebody read it to you? <gasps> How'd she get them? How come she didn't... How come she didn't take you your glasses all these months? You told her you didn't have them. Oh. And they're your real ones. Oh, so you were able to... You, ah, I didn't have to print out the damn lyrics so damn big and send you a whole book. Oh, okay. Well, it's all right. It's okay. It wasn't. It wasn't that big of a deal. It's just I. Every song was like four pages. Would it normally be one? Like a normal person would read. You like it, big print, huh? It's a whole book, mom. It's a whole fucking book. I did that big for you because you didn't have your glasses. Oh, so you were able to read your own card. Do you see? I gave you the phone numbers. On the back of the card? Oh, okay, yeah. The numbers you wanted. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Okay, I'm glad you're happy with that. Hey, when did you get it? Yesterday? Good. It should have come back. What? Oh, good, 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 good. I'm so glad you found those other pictures, too. Like I said, not a big deal. I mean, I can print them all out again from my, my internet, from my hard drive, you know, for 30... Oh, I know. I'll cheer you up. Mm. I have all those pictures. I have all your pictures, too. I told you I took everything, you know. Yeah. Because I didn't know what was going to happen to you, and I wasn't going to have me, you know, I didn't, I took all the pictures. And if my jewelry is back in your house, I want my jewelry back, and I'll give you back all your pictures when I meet with you. Your best bet, you'll have to, you'll have to ask Mary about it. Because it was a bag, even a bag I left behind. Believe me, I remember specifically have a, cause I had planned to go to a hotel and then I didn't and cause Donna convinced me she was like Marion is not going to show up there when she just got back from vacation Laura you know and I da da whatever and then I get that text that she is going to show up I'm like fuck you know so like I said I had everything packed and he came and got me my roommate and I left that one thing behind that had, I guess, some of my supplements in it. It was a couple hundred dollars worth of supplements and then a couple hundred dollars worth of jewelry, you know. But, so I'm glad you like the song lyrics. You got what? Oh, per more permission, more, um... Oh, good. Mm-hmm. Well, you should be able to do that. You're supposed to be getting out soon anyway. You should be having more permission to do more things. So, did you go outside today? But were you outside in the outside? Yeah, it was really nice out. I only, I didn't go anywhere, I was gonna, but I didn't. I have a, I put a Redbox movie on hold, um, that I'm gonna walk down like a mile or so to get, um, looks interesting with Kate Winslet, she's always in good fucking movies, so. Mm. It's called Labor Day. Oh, Jerry Maguire, yeah, I saw that a long time ago. Oh, yeah, you had me at hello. Right? Wasn't that a quote from it? Famous quote, you had me at hello. Right? With Renee Zellweger, you had me at hello. Right? No, no. Mm. Yeah, I saw that. I've seen most movies, you know, that are not, that are decent movies. This movie got high reviews on Red Bus. I didn't check an IMDb, but it's called Labor Day. And yeah. His dog threw up. I was going to take off today. I was going to go see a movie. I was going to do this and that. And I, and then, but I went up showering and washed and dried my hair. It takes me almost an hour to dry my hair on low, you know. I mean, literally, I started a little after 2, and it was 3 o'clock by the time I was done. And that's when I'm counting the shower and everything, so I didn't go anywhere. But I am going to watch that movie because he's not going to be home. So, but his dog threw up, so I lost an hour and a half today. I can't leave the throw up on the floor, you know, because I, I almost eat it. That's gross. But he what? He'll eat it. I had to clean it all up, so I mopped the whole downstairs, and then the dog threw up out here too and pissed on the rug. He just ate his food. Remember when he says he sometimes he eats his food too fast? But I told you, he, he doesn't, his food he's not eating is very good. Who knows why he throws up, you know? What? Not all my roommate's dog. Yeah, I had to clean it all up. That's fine, you know, it's not even my fucking dog. <laughs> and, what? He's not home. I had 
planned to leave today, Mom. It was beautiful out. I had 100% planned to leave, but then I lost an hour and a half cleaning up that. I'm not going to leave Omar in the cage all day long. I'm planning on leaving, but I'm not going to leave Omar in the cage. He'll eat the throw-up. I can't have him eat in the throw-up, so I, it's kibbles and bits, you know? I don't want to meet in the throw-up anyway, but I don't want him eating kibbles and bits. He already grabbed a part of it, because I'm like, I told my roommate, I'm like, you know, your dog threw up everywhere. I'm going to clean it up, because I can't have Omar eating it, because I was going to take off. I had every intention of taking off. I just ran out of time. Okay? Right? So I cleaned it up, and then I also decided to mop the floors, Right? But up here he threw up. The only place in this place is a rug is outside my door. I heard him throwing up last, in the middle of the night last night, you know. I also, he was crying. He wanted to go out. I'm sorry. I'm not taking him out in the middle of the night, you know. He went out in his pen the same amount of time that Omar was off for his walk yesterday. And Omar was fine. Omar didn't have to go to the bathroom. And he's not my dog. I don't have to get up in the middle of the night and go put him outside because he has to go to the bathroom. He's not my dog. You know, he can go on the floor. Seriously, he can go on the floor, just like if I take off for the day, the dog, he, Omar goes on the floor, you know. Um, and my roommate totally understands that, but anyway, I mean, I felt bad for him. He's crying, but I'm not going to get up and take him out, you know. I'm not that much of a saint. I'm not going to get up and take that dog outside because he has to go, the, you know, he's not my dog, and I'm not going to do it. He can go on the freaking floor, you know. But he doesn't want to go on the floor, so he cried, and then eventually he went on the floor, but Yelly Hill just threw up everywhere. I heard him throwing up. I'm like, oh, fuck. Why can't you throw up downstairs? That's what I'm thinking to myself in my bed, sleeping, you know. Why can't you throw up? I had just, I'd stayed up late. I had just gone to bed not too long ago. I wasn't going to get up and take him out. He can go on the fucking floor, right? So then I hear him throwing up. I'm like, great. You know, we have a whole house that has hardwood floors. You have to throw up in the only place there's a rug, right? I told my roommate, I'm like, yo, I'll clean up downstairs, I, but I don't, and I said, I'm going to clean it up up here on the rug, but I'm not scrubbing it. You can do that. So I apparently didn't even clean it up good enough, and Omar got a freaking piece of the throw up, you know, before I caught him. Mmm. So that's annoying. But anyway, I can't talk too long, because I do have to go, and um, I want to go get my movie, you know, and I don't want to wait till, till it's dark. I just called to, you know, make sure you got your package, although there's no reason why you wouldn't have. What? You like the card? So nobody had to read it to you? You read it yourself? Good. And you're singing all the songs whether you know the, the tune or not, right? <laughs> well, some you know the tunes, too. You know that. Oh, just how to whisper and I know just how to cry. Right? And you know Delta Dawn. And you know the new songs, All of Me and Just Give Me Reason by Pink. Right? Um, I forget what else I sent to you. you. Oh, you know um, the one from West Side Story. Mm. You, of course, know, you, of course, know me and Bobby McGee, because that's your song. You don't even really need the lyrics to that, but I sent them anyway because I gave them to you last time. But that's because you were sick when you, I visited and you weren't, you couldn't even remember that song. And I was like, oh, you know that song at the back of your hand. How can you not remember that one? Right? What else did I send to you? No, I sent you a whole bunch. Yeah, faithfully. Oh, you know Gloria, right? You know that tune. Gloria, always on the run now. I just put, um, I heard it last night when I was walking to return my Redbox movie. Which is a dumbass, stupid, stupid, stupid movie, but, um, uh, RSV Wagons, uh, Taken on the Run. And I love that song, so I, I bought it from Amazon for 99 cents, and I put it on my MP3 player, and I was listening to it when I... You know that tune? That's like, baby, we can talk all night. I just love that song. Oh, and I gave you the Milo song. Um, I would do anything for love. Even if you don't know that tune, you read the lyrics, so you like those, aren't those lyrics awesome? 
And I would do anything for love. I'd run right into hell and back. <laughs> what? Yeah. All right, Mama Ken. So, um, so as it stands, you don't know when you're getting out, right? Going into the respite. Tomorrow's Sunday. Nobody's around on Sundays. Yeah, when I was worried about that, I forgot about priority mail. A card, you can't you can't send priority mail, but I forgot I was sending more than a card, and I could just send a priority, and that gets there in two days. Remember, I didn't know. Mm. All right. So, I'm going to go and walk and get my movie. I'm going to put Omar in that cage. It's only going to be, I'm only going to be gone like a half hour. i put Omar in the cage so he doesn't go to the bathroom on the floor. All right. All right, Mama. I love you. Happy Mother's Day. I'll, pro I'll probably call you tomorrow, you know, just to wish you Happy Mother's Day. Um, okay? And I'm glad you liked what I sent you. I knew that you would. You come up with any other lyrics you want, I can always give, get them for you. It's no, you know, it's no big deal. If you think, if you think of anything else you want. Oh, I sent you Village People. You know that one tune, right? What? In the Navy, it could stay the 70s. In the Navy. <laughs> hmm. I'm not going to just send one, though. If you come up, if you think of ones that you want, and you think of enough of them, you know, I'll, I'll send you some more some other time, okay? Maybe I'll send them when you're in the respite, or I won't send them. I'll just, if I visit you, I'll just bring them with me. I could print them out. I have my printer, so. Okay? All right. Love you, Mama. Bye. Mama, Mama, Mama. Grandma's doing bad aroma. Labor Day looks interesting. It's not your typical love story, but I like not your typical love story. It's like I watched that one with Julianne Hoff was a, you know, a ex, um, she was an abuse victim, a domestic violence victim, you know. She escaped from a man who probably may eventually have killed her. Um, give him enough time. Um, I watched that one with my mom in the movie theater. You know what I mean? I don't like the typical sappy love stories. My mom does, so I mean, I watched them. With her, but, no. This Labor Day looks interesting. Um, and it got good reviews on Redbox. Um, and for dollar twenty. I can sit in his chair so he's not going to be home. I can plop myself down right in front of the TV in the middle of the living room. These poor locos are too sweet. This is my colon cleanse. Those poor locos are too sweet. I really need to just have vodka and something, you know. Something light. That's
Like you're gonna go in the cage, baby. It won't be for very long, though. Um, yeah, the reason you're not buzz is you started drinking the tea too. It's 6.30, Laura. You drink it slow. That's why you're not buzzed. It's only coming to four beers. If you drink one beer an hour, you're not going to be buzzed. Hmm. True, but I have another one waiting for me and I can drink that one fast. I also have that restless tail reserve. I don't know how much that is right there. I don't know how long the other woman's been out, but it's still playing, so perhaps I'll be able to see it next week during the day somewhere, someday. I think that sucks right now. I don't have anything sweet. Nothing sweet to eat. Nothing sweet. Oh, I can put some maple syrup and some suji, suji yogurt. Add some goji berries. Mix in my fiber supplement, my my Garden of Life Super Seed for good measure. That'll fill me up. I'm gonna fast tomorrow. I still haven't watched that movie. I bought 15 bucks total from PBS. The Why We Love Cats and Dogs. Then my mom and I saw the tail end of on um, we were flipping channels, you know, before she got sick back when I was still living with her. Not, not that long ago, though. Less than a year ago, just like several months ago. I've been here three months now. Mm. I just checked Google. It's like still like 80 degrees out. Yeah, I don't have anything sweet. I'm not gonna walk to the store and get stuff sweet either. I don't wanna do that. Because in organic, I'd have to, I have to get a whole package. I don't wanna get a whole package. I mean, almost a thousand calories worth of cookies or something. So. I didn't have my shake today. I don't feel like making it. 
But I can definitely do that fiber supplement in CG yoga, mix it together. Add some maple syrup. I've added honey before, but the honey crystallizes and it's a pain in the fucking ass. I'm gonna add some maple syrup. I did the other night, my fiber supplement to fill me up. I had my wild planet salmon. I called him. He probably thought I was cute. I know he wouldn't care, but I called him anyway, because the other night I had some of his man I ran out of my spectrum organic mayonnaise. And when I came home two nights ago, you know, I got drunk, I wanted to eat everything under the sun. You know, when I, I put everything under the sun, I don't have much to eat. But I ran out of mayonnaise, I wanted my salmon so bad, so I used his mayonnaise. And then tonight, I used, earlier I used more of his mayonnaise, so I called him. And I said, I said, I just want to let you know, um, you know, I used some of your mayonnaise. You don't seem like the type who would, you know, freak out or flip out or anything. And he's joking. He's like, oh, yeah, like, I'm going to flip out. He's like, you can have any of my mayonnaise anytime you want. I know he's like that. I know he would not give one flying fuck if I had his mayonnaise. However, I didn't ask, you know, ahead of time. So I said, I, just want, I know, I know you wouldn't care. But, you know, I didn't ask ahead of time. I just want to let you know. And then I threw in, well, and I, you know, I'm like, I know you wouldn't care, and I, you know, and I go, I, I did clean the whole downstairs, you know. <laughs> mm -mm. He's not the type who would give a shit. Now me, I'm not the type who would give a shit unless my roommate started taking advantage of it. Like started eating certain things of mine and, and, and finishing up them and then not replace, you know, and he did it all, and did it all the time. But I don't, I eat all organic and he eats. How oh, should I say this politically correct? He needs a lot of crap, okay? So I'm not going to be stealing his food. I'm not going to be borrowing his food. Um, he, but the mayonnaise, yeah, mayonnaise is my weakness. And I ran out of my mayonnaise and I wanted my salmon. So my salmon's the only thing I have mayonnaise with, you know? The only thing I have sam mayonnaise with is my salmon, so. I told that to him. I said that to him. He, he was laughing at me. He probably thinks it's the cutest thing. He does. He's, he's like, he's like, he's like, oh yeah, like I'm gonna flip out. I'm like, I know you wouldn't flip out, but I didn't ask, and I just wanted to let you know. He's like, you can have my mayonnaise anytime you want. So he said, to me. I'm not surprised. I know how he is. He's not gonna give one flying fuck. He's the type who wouldn't even care if I was drunk and I used up his, you know, something of his. But I'm the type who replace it. But he has a big giant thing of mayonnaise, so I'm not going to replace it. I'm only using little, you know. If he has the biggest thing you can buy, he, has, he, he told me I could have mayonnaise anyway if I wanted. Mm. And I knew that's what he would say. He doesn't care. And I know he appreciates me taking care of his dog. I do take care of his dog because he. My roommate works a lot, and the dog, you know, is alone. I walked the dog two days ago. It was enjoyable for me and the dog. Today I didn't. Today I didn't because I spent, like, like, you just heard me on the phone. I spent a long time doing my hair. <laughs> Between taking a shower and doing my hair and cleaning up the bathroom and whatnot, and then I had to take Omar for another half hour walk, you know. And so, Dougie didn't get a walk with me today. Because Omar is still my top priority. I spent an hour and a half, a good hour and a half, you know, cleaning downstairs and then cleaning his dog's pen, too. Otherwise, I probably would have taken off today. But it's going to be summer. I mean, it's going to be a lot of beautiful days. So I'm not worried about it.
All right. Mama needs to walk to get a movie. Mama needs to go in the cage so he doesn't go to the bathroom on the floor. And then when Mama gets back in about a half hour, she'll take Mama out to go pee pee. And she'll put bones in his bed. One last time to go to the bathroom. And hope that, you know, it's not crying in the middle of the night to go get him. I mean, have a different schedule than my roommate. I'm sorry, dog. Go to the bathroom on the floor. It's what you and Omar both have to do when my roommate and I are both gone and your master's gone and I'm gone, you know. Can't live our lives around the dogs. They can go on the floor. Heard it from a friend who heard it from a friend who heard it from another even my son of mine who don't need who took a cheap and a threes. I bet you if I had down to that beer right now, I'd be buzzed. Despite the fact this was only four beers and I've been drinking it for the past two and a half hours, but slowly, I don't know how much beer is in here, and I bet it's stale and gross and flat. How much do you think's in there? I bet if I down this right now, I would be buzzed, but... Oh. Mm. Yuck. We found my mom's glass. Mary found her glasses in her mom's purse or at the hospital. Why didn't anybody care to get my mom's glasses all these months? She's, you know, why? mailed her a whole book of song lyrics because everyone say 15 songs four pages each that comes to like 60 pages it cost me i mean the priority cost me like a little under six when it's like five dollars sixty cents mm -hmm. I'd like to have heartache tonight, and all she wants to do is dance and dirty laundry on my MP3 player, but I looked those up before on Amazon, you can't get them single, I don't think. You have to buy the whole album or something. Huh. Alright, Mama's gotta get moving, Mama's tired. Technically, you would, could come with me, but A, I've been drinking, and I don't pull the Donald shit. Donald used to walk home when he, Donald was fucking shit-faced. 
It made me very angry, but as we already established, lots of things in regards to Donald and Omar and Donald himself, but though Omar made me very angry. Justifiably. Oh, God. He did. He used to... Oh. All right. We don't want to think about that, Laura. Um, but anyway. Even if I was sober, I don't want to walk over on the main road. It's a main road out where I'm going. Whereas around here, it's a nice neighborhood where we see bunnies. <gasps> we saw bunnies, didn't we? We saw bunnies. I saw bunnies that you didn't see because I point them out to you and you can't see them. And then sometimes you see them and I don't. How many times did we see bunnies during our 30 minute walk? Let's see, we saw the bunnies there. And we saw them there. We saw, I think we saw them like three times. You didn't see them one of the times. But anyway, we walk where we're relatively safe, you know. Um, now the other day, you know, I wasn't drinking or anything. I mean, I, I don't walk home when I'm drinking. I might take him out in the yard, you know, but I won't walk him. Um, let's see. Oh, guy wasn't even looking, backing up out of his driveway. But I pay attention, see. I am vigilant when it comes to paying attention and protecting my own. Right? We saw bunnies? Bunnies. You want to chase them out, let you. Anyway, I gotta go. I gotta change to a different top. I gotta pee pee. And find my credit card. And then I walk over about a mile. And a mile back with my little movie. And watch my little movie. And probably drink my second one of these four locos. And oh. What a lonely, boring life I lead. But I'm safe. And what I used to do when I was single in my 20s and early 30s, I was never safe. So, you know, you make, you, you sacrifice, you know. I, I don't want that, but I don't want this either. I want something in between. So. That's old news. That's old news, Mama. Hey, old news. Old news, Mama Lou. get dark to like quarter of eight now you know nowadays I checked the other day it was like still light out it was getting close to eight o'clock I mean not super light out but not not dark you know mm. that was the rest of my apple brag apple cider vinegar and wawa Bye.